JMP up here. Hi, and welcome to Freedom Watch Afghanistan. I'm Staff Sergeant Trevor Pedro. The Afghan National Army is in the midst of strengthening its force, so one day it can stand on its own. To do that, it must turn more than 70,000 young men into well-trained soldiers. Marine Corporal Todd Hunter shows us where that transformation begins. The dusty, barren terrain at the Kabul Military Training Center can sometimes make it feel like one of the most desolate places on Earth. But the distant crack of gunfire lets you know it carries one of the biggest responsibilities as well. Here, young Afghan men are learning how to secure a nation at the birthplace of the ANA. We start um, two battalion training with uh, 400 men each. Now we are training, um, I mean, uh, five battalions at the same time in each one, uh, 1,500 men. Now that the recruiting numbers are climbing towards their goal, the new priority is to improve the quality of training. Coalition forces are playing a key role in establishing various leadership courses for the ANA. And because of uh, this system, we've been able to, to train good officers in SEO and soldiers and send them down to, to the core, and they're doing really well there. Though the calm pace of training is a far stretch from the rigors of, say, Marine Corps boot camp, Afghan recruits find themselves at the KMTC to answer the same exact calling. The young generation have to serve their country, bring peace and stability to their country, serve their people. These young people feel that they, have, they should come in, so they want to bring the security to their country. Because of that, they are coming to ANA. With lunchtime over, ANA recruits get back to business, knowing full well that the efforts put forth today will improve the security of their country in the future. Marine Corporal Todd Hunter, Kabul Military Training Center, Afghanistan. The Kabul Military Training Center is just one example of Afghanistan's dedication to development. Afghan healthcare providers from the Kualat Provincial Hospital joined with ISAF medical personnel from the Zabo Provincial Reconstruction Team to take that development to another level with a medical outreach mission. The main goal of the visit was to give the Afghan medics the opportunity to show their ability to effectively take care of patients. Captain James Arnold, a family practice doctor with the Zabo PRT, said that the Afghan doctors provided quality care and that this is another step towards empowering the Afghan people to take care of each other. Now here's a look at your photos from the field. The 173rd Special Troops Battalion took a moment to celebrate their 300th day in eastern Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. The 173rd commemorated Spartan Day by pinning Afghan campaign medals and eating cake. They're the latest musical sensation to tour throughout Iraq, Afghanistan, and the Horn of Africa. Their mission? To raise the morale of deployed troops. Senior Airman Daniel Delgado introduces us to a group of airmen on a musical adventure. Live Round's mission is to enhance community relations as well as provide troop morale, troop support. We travel throughout the AOR performing for troops and when we go outside the wire we get to meet a lot of community and spread the message of the Air Force. Live Round has even sparked some audience participation. It's very important for troops that are stationed here to know that they are appreciated. We do that via music by bringing the troops a little piece of home, something they're familiar with. And of course, music is a universal language, so we can do that even with um, the local communities that do not speak English. So it's a wonderful experience all the way around. So far on this tour, Live Round has performed 56 shows for audiences on and off base in six countries. Senior Airman Daniel Delgado, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan. That's all for this edition of Freedom Watch Afghanistan. I'm Staff Sergeant Trevor Pedro. Thanks for watching.